Hey folks, so uh, this is Shets, and we have two concepts for today. We're going to go back to slide eight, and we're going to be looking at tangent lines. So if you look here, here we have a circle zero, and there's a center. I'm going to uh, drop down a, a tangent line, and there's my tangent line, remember? It is... Uh, touches a circle in one spot. <coughs> Sorry, my dog's barking. And I'm going to drop down a radius. And as you can see, it is perpendicular. So that's our theorem that a tangent line, and you draw a perpendicular to the point of tangency, this is going to be a 90 degrees. So here's other things that you need to look out for. Um, when I connect this, guess what? We have a right triangle. And I'll move this over so that you can see it. We have a right triangle. You want to use the Pythagorean theorem and also look for triples. And another thing is... We have a radii, and all radii are congruent that are in the same circle. So these two blue pieces are equal. They're congruent. And, you know, we know that angles of a triangle, here's a right triangle, and we know that the angles add up to 180. Or you could have said that this angle and this angle are complementary, which means they add up to 90. So just remember when we draw the radius to the point of tangency, we have a right angle, and then you want to be looking for right triangles. Here's a quick example. Here we have, um, we know this is going to be a right angle here, so I'm going to put a box right there for you. There's a box. Here's my line of tangency. So let's use the Pythagorean theorem. And here we have r squared plus 3 squared equals the hypotenuse. That's r plus 1 right there. And when we do our work, we're going to get a 9. And if you're not sure how you foil this out, here's the work for it. Whoops. I'll let you study that for a second. I'll put that down here. And if you need to pause the video, please pause the video. I need to write this twice. So I wrote it twice. There's my foil. You can see first, outers, inners, and lasts. And these two are like terms. So there we get their 2R right there. Okay. Well, if I subtract an R squared from both sides guess what? They go away. Now I'm going to subtract the 1, and I get an 8. Now when I divide by 2, <coughs> I'm going to get a 4. So R happens to be a 4, and if I did put a 4 right there, 4 plus 1 is 5, and guess what? 3, 4, 5, that's a Pythagorean triple. And we have one last concept here, and now I'm on class kick slide nine. Tangents drawn to a circle from an outside point are congruent. So here's my outside point. Here's my blue tangent lines, and guess what? We know they're going to con be congruent, but I'm going to prove it to you. So if I drop down a radius to those points of tangency, then I know I'm going to get a right angle. And we also know that these radii are congruent because they're the same radii in the same circle, that hash mark and that hash mark. And now when I draw from the center to the outside point, guess what? I make up two triangles. Now this side 
is in both of these triangles. They happen to be the hypotenuse and there's my leg. So these two triangles are by congruent by hypotenuse leg. The triangles are congruent and therefore CPCTC, guess what folks? This side here and this side are congruent because the triangles are congruent and by corresponding parts these two pieces are congruent therefore tangents drawn to an outside point to the circle guess what they're going to be congruent so if i look at this example if this piece little piece is six guess what this little piece is six and if this little piece is three then guess what this little piece is three and if this piece is eight then there you go this little piece is eight so you'll probably be asked like what's the perimeter of the triangle well two sixes are twelve two threes are six and two eights are sixteen therefore you have a grand total of thirty four and I better put in centimeters here. So the grand total of the triangle is 34 centimeters. So there you go, folks. Please be very aware that tangents, these two blues, are congruent. And when we draw a radius to the point of tangency, we're going to get a box here and you probably will want to be using the Pythagorean theorem. Let me bring that over for you. Oops. Can't really bring it over, but I'll bring the video over. So you want to be looking at right triangles and Pythagorean theorem. Look for triples if they are. All right, folks, there you go.